everyone, Chris Govelin here doing another uh, Hearthstone game video for you. Uh, today we're going to be playing a couple games with the uh, Control Warrior from the new Boomsday Project expansion. There's the deck lists. Uh, slight modification I did have to make. I did not get the Dr. Boom uh, hero card from... Uh, my pack's a little too early in the expansion to start crafting legendaries, especially ones for unproven classes, if you will. Um, you know, I'm not sold on this deck just yet, and uh, it's a pretty can be pretty expensive to start crafting legendaries uh, this early on, especially when you don't know uh, how well they're going to play out. So, but uh, you know, looking at the deck right now. The current deck on uh, Hearthstone Deck Tracker has about a 51% win rate, which isn't isn't great. It's kind of fun to play, though. Uh, definitely takes advantage of a couple of the newer cards. You know, you've got uh, the Giggling Inventor, Weapons Project, kind of things that help you stall the game out a little bit. Till you get to 10. Then you hit this Omega assembly card. You get a whole bunch of mechs in your hand. Um, and then you can combo that together. With something like Boom Ship. Summon three random minions from your hand and give them all a rush. So if you take three mechs all into your hand and then summon all of them right away, uh, you can do some pretty, some pretty interesting stuff there. Just looking at the mulligan guide. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff you put back. Very few things you want to keep early. Dr. Boom being one of them. So, uh, substitution I did have to make, like I said, for that, since I don't have him. I swapped him out for Zilliax. Um, not exactly the best swap. but at least putting a card in that has some synergy and some value with the rest of the deck. Uh, it's gone three and four for me so far in the first handful of games. Not my execute. Uh, we'll see how it holds up here in another couple of games. Take a look at its win rate against Warlock, 46.4%. It's one of its worst matchups. Paladin and Shaman seem to be its two best matchups. Okay. I don't like any of these cards. That works, but I wish I don't have another mech to play with it. See, it's rough because you want to hold on to this card until like turn do you have nine or ten mana do you get ten mana crystals uh, you can coin and trigger it on nine but sometimes you just get stuck here Ooh. magnetic with taunt Zilliax already has taunt though Yeah, that's cool. He's got Divine Shield. I 
install with him for a turn. That's kind of what you're trying to do. You're kind of trying to stall, stall, stall. Until you get to some of your bigger minions, build up some armor, hit Yelp. stuff. I missed it all. I've missed a lot of drops so far. Maybe we'll get lucky and 50% chance that it, all that's left is one of the little one drops. But of course it's the dragon. This is the problem I always have with warrior decks. When you just don't get the right cards, you don't have a lot of other ways to win. A warpath. Now we're just in one of those situations where it's like, what do I do? Was that? Each player transforms a random minion in their hand into a demon. So I just lost. Not good. Not good at all. all right, let's see what pulls us. much I think I'd have better off just actually playing them the right way and I could have used like their abilities and stuff and triggered Definitely the downside to it like this. Yeah. All right, we can just stop. We can just stop. <laughs> now, obviously, Doctor Boom does make a big difference. Let's get that out of the way right off the bat. He's a key legendary. He changes your hero and your hero power and gives you a variety of different abilities. Um, but even with him, the deck still only has 51% win rate. So, you know, running right out to craft him, I don't know that that's, uh, that that's really, you know, a good good use of resources. Especially at this early stage uh, in the you know new meta, uh, this guy's pretty cool. The giggling inventor, he's just like a complete little shield wall. Unless you're playing against priest, and then they just mask the spell, and I'm just like, think that was a waste of time. Gonna try pacing ourselves a little better this game. Just 
just going to gain armor, stall, gain armor, stall. Especially one of the hard parts too, you never quite know which druid you're facing. We got Malagos, maybe. Mali Druid seems to be one of the more popular builds right now. Another cornered sentry. Alright, we'll do this now. Gain some armor. Draw a card. There's a guy. That's always good to get. Ideally, Boom Ship is going to put out your biggest minions. You don't want to waste, like I did last game, on a bunch of just cheap mechs, especially ones that have magnetic and you can combo some abilities together. Probably a swipe here. Seven, eight, nine, and ten cost minion from your deck. So he just got all his expensive stuff. So what uh, again, could be Malagos, could be just a weird taunt deck that hasn't hit anything yet. Never my favorite thing to do, but. don't want to spread my board too wide in case it's spreading plague. Good warpath here. I think I might need that later though. Just do it this way. Let's see how this goes. Turn, reduce the cost of a random minion in your hand by seven. That's good, especially when you just drew your eight, nine, and ten cost guys. Right. Can I get that guy off the board? Next turn, we'll play Yip. I'll start getting me some big minions because I've got lots of armor now. Oh, he's got another one. This would be an awesome hand to Dead Man's hand, but. I really need to have Yip in play. Uh oh.
most broken card apparently of the new expansion. I, suppose, I seem to see a lot of uh, a lot of people complaining about this guy uh, and just his uh, game-ending strategies. Because Alex Dress only cost him two. Not game ending. Shucks. Yeah, that's. All right. Let's get this show on the road. Let's see what our next big minion is. Rush. Nice big 8-8 eight eight mech. Yep. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yep. Big combo Malagos. this one more shot and I'm probably deleting this deck after this game like I said it's just it's not bad it's fun it's got some interesting mechanics and stuff to it but it just doesn't feel like it does enough it feels like there's just better strategies in the current environment that this deck just does not work so well with I'm going to keep Garrish. Oh, not both of them. I'm also not sold on Weapons Project yet. It's one of those cards you're just like, it seems good in theory, but it's like, yeah, you get six armor and get a two-three weapon, but you also give your opponent six armor and a two-three weapon. You know, if you use it at the right time and, like, destroy your opponent's good weapon, then, well, then, that might make it worth it, but. You know, if you had a King's Bane or something like that and I destroy it, okay, that would be worth it, but.
can't make an ooze yet. Because he can't kill that minion. Unless he's got something that triggers a death rattle. Which is always a possibility. I think there's some new cards that do that. Interesting. And usually when you see Rogue, you see all those damn bunnies, and you're just like, what and why? Now, you can combo Harrison Jones with Weapons Project, but that's like at least turn seven. But it's not a bad way to go. And that might be a thing where, again, you just have to be patient and hold all these cards, which is also never a great idea. Let's see what Death Rattle Minion he's going to play this turn. Because obviously it's going to be something. Yep. Try to make some dragons. Interesting. Ah. Okay, so Rogue definitely got some cards this set. Wow. Regarding Death Rattle. That's pretty crazy. So anything short of Brawl, and we're uh, pretty much toast.
Ben's health isn't that high. Maybe we can just make a run for it. If I can just keep him low enough and hit Gramosh. One out of 15. Pop a whole bunch out onto the field. So that's the kind of situation where a weapons project actually does work out. Board's full, so they can't do anything anyway. There's Yip. Doesn't help me. Yeah, we're pretty much toast here. So what can we do? We have to brawl, but how's the best way, the most effective way to do it? I guess that's the best I can do. He's going to have three dragons. Great. And he just got ten life back. So I don't see how I win this game. Oh, unless I run out of cards. Because, I mean, he's got 23 damage on the board. All right, so... Not a fan of this deck. <laughs> so hopefully I went ahead and saved you guys some time. Um, again, you know, I know Dr. Boom is important. He does kind of make the difference in the deck. There's at least two games where I drew Zilliax where I would have had Dr. Boom. Um, that may have changed things a little bit, but... Again, even with uh, it's still only a 51% win rate, and uh, you know, very expensive deck with a couple, a lot of legendaries in it for a pretty low win rate success. So, I'm gonna chalk this one up to uh, don't don't waste your time building it and playing it. Maybe it's maybe it doesn't maybe it's something you guys really like. Uh, so and you have some fun with it, try it out, make some changes to it. But uh, the current build and even my mom, I modified slightly cheaper or easier build. Um, actually, it's a legendary for legendary, so it's not even cheaper. Um, just doesn't seem to be working very well. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, you know if you have better luck with the deck than I do, then you know share some comments in the uh, on the video, and uh, you know let me know how it's working for you. Um, thanks for watching.